Pericardial effusion is collection of fluid within the layers covering the heart. Pericardium is the covering of the heart. It has an inner layer and an outer layer. Fluid collects in between these layers in certain disease conditions and compresses the heart. If the amount of fluid is large or there is a rapid increase in the rate of fluid collection, the compression of the heart prevents it proper filling. An unfilled heart is not able to pump out blood well and the blood pressure falls. This serious condition is known as cardiac tamponade. Cardiac tamponade needs urgent removal of fluid from the pericardial cavity by needle aspiration or surgical drainage if the fluid is very thick. Very thick fluid can be there if the collection is due to some types of bacterial infection. Sometimes the collection of fluid can be due to bleeding into the pericardial cavity. This occurs most commonly in cancer, malignant pericardial effusion. Usually it is cancer of other organs spreading to the pericardium, secondary rather than primary cancer of the pericardium which is very rare, mesothelioma. An important type of bacterial infection which causes pericardial effusion is tuberculosis. It may or may not be associated with tuberculosis elsewhere in the body. Tuberculous pericardial effusion can be documented by aspirating the fluid and culturing the fluid for the presence of the bacteria causing tuberculosis, mycobacterium tuberculosis. There are other tests also for tuberculous pericarditis but they are not as sure as growing bacterium in the culture. After draining the pericardial fluid to relieve the compression of the heart, tuberculous pericardial effusion needs full course of medication for eradication of infection. If the cause is a cancer, in addition to draining the pericardial fluid and relieving the compression on the heart, treatment for cancer will have to be given. This may include medications, radiation and surgery depending on the type of cancer. Cancer could be in nearby organs like the lung or breast or from distant organs. Analysis of the aspirated fluid may give information on the type of cancer. Usually other investigations to search for the location and spread like a positron emission tomography, PET scan may be considered.